is from Restored Republic via GCR, compiled by Judy Byington. Overnight, Monday night, August 10th, into Tuesday morning, August 11th, the old fiat dollar cabal swift global financial system changed over to the new transparent quantum financial system. The new international currency rates appeared on bank screens. Tier 4B contract rates were activated on bank screens, and the U.S. national debt was erased. During this time, for his own safety, President Trump was out of country flying Air Force One. As of Wednesday, August 12th, the new QFS instant settlements were working on all central banks worldwide. All exotic bonds had processed with liquidity placed in respective paymaster accounts who were waiting for the codes to be entered to release the monies. Wednesday night, August 12th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, there was a meeting in Hong Kong to finalize the RV Scheduled, meaning that they were ready to release the shotgun start for Tier 4B, us the internet group at any time. At 3 a.m. morning August 13th on Thursday, we went from an any day possibility for release to any minute. As of Thursday, August 13th, the Dinar international rate was $9, while the Dong international rate was $5. Tier 4B contract rates would be higher than those international rates until Monday, September 7th, the Zimbon rate was negotiable depending on your humanitarian interests. The peace agreement between Israel and the Arab Emirates that President Trump announced Thursday, August 13th, was a completion of Jasera requirements for world peace that we needed for the RV. Implementation of at least 10 of 16 Jasera Nasera Jubilee debt forgiveness measures has already begun. President Trump told the banks to begin zeroing out mortgage, credit card, and other forms of personal debt starting Monday, August 17th. With the U.S. national debt already taken care of by switching to the QFS, all other debts, individual and national, would begin to be fully paid off by the end of August. Iraqi authorities were coming to Washington, D.C. on Thursday, August 20th to announce their sovereignty. Trump was expected to make an announcement about the U.S. dollar returning to the gold standard on or after Labor Day weekend, Friday, September 4th to Monday, the 7th of September. Around the same time, the Durham report was expected to surface. Um, We would have until Monday, September 7th to exchange at the contract rates. By Tuesday, September 8th, the IMF would start the general public Tier 5 currency exchanges at the new international rates.